Oh, look at this. Look at this. And you scratch my watch. And you scratch my phone. You're a clown. Okay, sir. Yeah, no, no, where are you going? Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we have an auditor that tries to audit a public education building and he finds out his wrists are very delicate when they put those cuffs around them. It leaves marks on his wrists, poor guy. County employees will respect their constitutional right to record in a public office in this case. So let's see what happens. Oh man, look at that. I get a feeling someone's gonna tell me I can't do something. This is G Street, that's G Street. I feel like if you knew the G spot as well as you knew G Street, you'd probably have better things to do right now. You're not a eunuch, are you? Uh-oh. I feel like they're gonna see the camera coming from a long way. The Stanislaus County Office of Education. There we go. I think these guys are nice, right? I mean, they're educators. <laughs> I hopefully I don't have to come through a uh, metal detector. Oh, okay. This is beautiful. This is a beautiful office. We have barely started this video and I feel like I hate this person already. But I want to point out that just like when this guy does this, we see this. When you do this, I see this. Let's get out of here. Let's go upstairs. All right, we're in the third story now. He's asking me to leave. Is this not the public education office? Yeah, so it's a it's a beautiful office here. Hello, how you doing, ma'am? Is this not a public office? Like we're gonna play. Hello. Hello, how's it going? Hi. Hello. Hello, how's it going guys? How are you guys doing? Hi. Yeah, we just came to do an audit on our accounting employees, making sure everything's going on right, making sure our tax dollars go to the right place. Do you have a mask, ma'am? Me? Oh, uh, me? Yeah, uh-huh. It sounds like a, yeah. Yeah, I appreciate if you uh, kept it all the way at all times. Sir, you're gonna have to leave. Who are you? Security. You're gonna have to leave. I'm sorry, why? This is a county office, isn't it? Yes, it is. But okay. you don't have an appointment. We're closed. I don't need an appointment. Yes, you do. Who are you? I'm sorry. What time are you guys closed? Because the sir? doors were open. I'm an independent journalist, Lisa okay. Aguila. Okay. Yeah. Uh huh. And how can I help you? Oh, like I said. How can go, I help you? Go ahead. Oh, I'm already talking oh, no. to her. I'm a security coordinator here. How can I help you? Oh, okay. So um, what we're doing is we're doing an audit on our uh, county employees, like I said, making sure tax dollars go to the right to the right place making sure that we uh, get the help that we need when we come here. And to let you guys know that it is constitutionally correct for me to come inside a public building and, and record. Sorry, I caught my breath because he thinks I can't record. I'm not gonna make an appointment. This is a, a constitutionally protected right. Is there anything that you would like to say? But I'd rather talk to them because, you know. No, I have no comment. Oh, you don't have to, but you asked me what I was doing, so I let you know. Okay, well, you can go now. Oh, no, um, I just got started right now, so. Do you have an appointment to talk to someone? Did, did you hear me when I said I didn't have an appointment, ma'am? I'm asking you. Um, my my job here is to protect staff. Do you have an ID? Because I don't I know do. who you are. Yeah. And can I see your ID, please, too? What are they going to do? This is a public office. I just talked to them right now. Call on please. What, what is the schedule for this office so I know? 8 to 5. Okay, what time is it now? It's 10.45. So do you have an appointment to talk to someone? You asked me that two times. Have you answered? What did I say? I don't recall. Do you have an appointment? I, he heard me and they heard me, ma'am. Look, I don't have an appointment. What would I'm you doing, like to make one? Um, for right now, yes. Okay. Do you Who have an appointment? Who would you like to talk to? Well, right now yourself. Um, if you would like to show me around the building. 
no, I'm not going to show you around the building. I have work to do. Then go do it, ma'am. I'm not stopping you. I'm telling you what I'm doing. I'm recording. I'm sorry. Like You're wasting tax dollars. dollars. You said you were going to call the police. Like to leave our yeah, but you call. You said you were going to call the police. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and wait for them. You guys going to get an education today. Hello, how you doing, sir? We're doing an audit on our uh, county employees, making sure that our tax dollars are going to the right place. Would you like to comment for Pecana Gray News? You know, you are wasting tax dollars right now. Mm -hmm. That's what you're doing. Yeah, well, I would suggest that you wear your ID badge at all times because right now... Oh, it's, it's on okay. at all times. Okay, because I couldn't see it. Because you failed to look at it. It was, it was covered by your shirt. Mm -hmm. And like him, look, see his? His is flipped over, so I can't see it, look. What's your name? Oh, you work for Ontel. Is it the one right here in Modesto? Downtown, or is it the one over there? I think it's by uh, Coffee Road. All right, you're not gonna get in my way, are you? Oh, I'm just gonna She needs to leave. <laughs> I'll leave when I'm ready. Just keep your distance, okay? I just did. I just did. I told you, keep your distance. You were my business. This is not your building. This is the people's building. Stop. Oh, I'm sorry. I keep informing you that you have to be contributing members of society to actually help pay for buildings. Since most frauditors are unemployed, you don't help with shit. Do not, do not get close to me. This is the people's building, and we're here to do a First Amendment audit. Go ahead and lock the doors if you like. This is the people's building. You're going to learn a valuable lesson today. I'm so looking forward to it. Ten six. Stop it. You're, I do. What is it? Uh, you should tell him ten nine instead. That don't make no sense. Shut up. You absolutely do not know what it means because ten six means station is busy, as in he's dealing with you, you idiot. And then ten nine would mean repeat. So I mean, unless you didn't quite hear him properly, probably because you don't know what a ten six is. Can I yes, I can. Are you stopping me from going into a... Araceli Sanchez. Is there a reason that I can't go inside there? People are working and you're interrupting. Okay, what, what is this office? This is a business services, right? You can read. Yay. Well, I wanted to go inside to do some services, but you keep blocking the way yeah, you no. you lock that door i lock this one too and i'll lock every other door all right well walk with me Good. just okay. don't touch my camera i wouldn't want to <laughs> you're gonna learn a valuable lesson today and we're gonna keep coming back until you learn what you, you think they're gonna kick me out <laughs> is that what you think they're gonna do what, 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 no, look, show some respect. If you don't, if you know what I'm doing, just don't, don't make yourself look like a fool, okay? You're looking like a fool. I'm not. I told you what I was doing. You're just following me locking doors. That's silly. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're the ones looking silly. It's a total 10-9 situation, if you know what I mean, eh, guy? You have nothing better to do than waste time. If you're a real journalist, you have a camera and microphone. I do have a... Yeah. <laughs> I do have it. So my other guys are recording the entire we're recording the county buildings, probation. We just came from there. Very professional. You know what you are right. They were very professional. It's too bad that you were behaving like this. Um, uh is Spanish? No. Espan Espanish? Espan no? Uh Espan uh, hola. Espan Espanish? Spanish? Why, why you take my videos? Uh, 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 manager? Ma mommy? Why, 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 why you talk to me? Uh, what you want to do? Spanish. No, no English. This is a public office. You're interrupting. Nope, I'm not. Nobody called you. We were having a great conversation. Your security calls you. Hey, so, uh, would you like to comment how long you've been working here or anything at all? I have no interest in talking to you. Well, you've been talking to me, so. Call me to answer your stupid question. That's not a stupid question. I was doing fine until you came barking orders. Yep. 
job. Okay, well, if that's how you guys behave, then. We were having a blast talking about the office, this and that, and then you just came and ruined it. Mm -hmm. You didn't even identify yourself verbally. I'm wearing it. Yeah, it was facing the other way. I told you twice. Uh, now it is. It don't fucking matter. Maybe it was blocking it? Oh, yay. Let me see. Let me get close. Yeah. ID number. Do you have a guard card? Well. Facility secure. Oh, you're you don't you're not a real security, right? I mean, you're just not a. You're not a real journalist either. Yeah. yeah. Um, I do request that I uh, get your supervisor's information before I leave. If you if you refuse, it's fine. I mean, I can't make you do anything, but you do work for the people, and I mean, it, that looks like you work for the county, so you are a public employee. I'm not going to leave, so you can leave. And I can stay here as long as I want to, and the police won't make me leave. And if you don't learn today, you're never going to learn. Perfect. Hey, there's a guy with the camera. Hey, buddy. Turn off your monitors. I can see the cameras. Do not even attempt to get close to me. Turn off your monitors, dude. Now you're pushing the limit. I'm not pushing anything, yeah. and there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, now you're... You're not going to do anything no, about it. Just wait for the police. Keep your mouth shut. Now you're violation of privacy. Yep. What law do is that? you know your laws? What law is that? Huh? Do you know your laws? Yes. Yeah. Well, you're a security... I know you cannot be in other people's privacy. Well, then, how come you're not a cop instead of a security? Tell you what, I got a deal for you. He'll tell you why he didn't become a cop if you tell him where you actually found that real-to-life douche canoe you're paddling around the office. Ma'am, don't tell him what to do. He's a grown man, okay? Thank you. No, he can talk. Don't, don't try to cut his, cut his constitutional right of, of freedom of speech, okay? Right now, right now you're, you're blocking my constitutional right of freedom of press. You also insulted me, said I wasn't a real journalist, but I think that you're not a real security, not a professional one. Now you might be thinking, ah, uh, is that his comeback? Is that all he's got? Well, no. I got more. You're a poopy head. Yeah, she's butt hurt because of the video. Hey, I'm doing a documentary on the county office. This is a public office, and this chick right here wants to be uh, a rent -a cop The police are coming, and you you'll see what happens when they come. Nah. And don't you even think about closing that door like you did upstairs. That's the last thing you'll do. How's it going, sir? Good, how are you? Good, good. We're just doing a little uh, audit on our public office on where our tax dollars are going. But it seems that Mrs. Security right here wants to be pissy and doesn't understand that this is a public office. Anybody can walk into here. Any See, that guy upstairs knows. He just gave you the look like you were dumb. Everybody knows this is a public. That's why it says Santa... That's why it says Stanislaus County office. She thinks that I can't come in here and record because I didn't tell her right away who I was. I went upstairs to speak to the superintendent, but she wants to bark orders now that she thinks that the police are going to kick me out at a public office. So right now, we're going to have to wait and see, right? You should stick around. No, there's no such thing. This is a public office. I came to speak to the superintendent. How can you lock a public office? It's locked. She locked it. <laughs> idiot locked it, see? Oh. This is a public office. It's okay, I'm about to take off. You don't have to take off running. Then don't. They're scared of the camera. How come you acting like this, dude? My job to take these leads. There's nothing to protect your clown. Yeah. If anything, if anything, I'm recording. You're not. Everything that I did is on video. What you're doing is on video too. How's it going, sir? Fine. How are you doing? Can I see your badge, please? Are you a county employee? Fine. Can I see? Oh, Chris. Excuse me. Uh, director, business. Thank you. Thank you for being professional. You're welcome. Do you have a uh, the superintendent I can speak to because? This man thinks that I can come into a public office and speak to the superintendent. And right now they're violating my First Amendment right of freedom of press and to come into a public office.
They've locked this one, that door, and that door right now. You're free to come in and ask to schedule an appointment to meet him. He doesn't just hold public office hours right now. Well, what is the hours right now for the office? <clears throat> They're outside in the door. It says up until 5. I don't, I don't think we're even open to the public because of COVID. Yeah, yeah, but the doors are open. Well, that's just so the going to get it now. Right now, when he was up here, so many people, <clears throat> and even before me and after, they just walked right in. So that's, yeah, that's our employees walking around the building. <laughs> And he knows. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, but I plugged in only right now because there, of COVID. There's people outside that they didn't allow because of the camera. They were going to come in. Because they had an appointment with HR for I don't need them. I don't need to make an appointment to walk into the public lobby. He could, you can walk in and ask to schedule an appointment with this with Exactly, this exactly. And I can also walk into the public <clears throat> lobby and see where our tax dollars are but going. He, but he can, he can stop you from coming into the building without an appointment. But not into the building. Into the office, maybe. Yeah, yeah. But not into the building. So he'll give you a phone number to call to try and schedule an appointment no, with the I, I don't need a schedule. This is a First Amendment audit, and so far, you guys are failing it. Well. <laughs> it's okay. That's fine. You know, it's, it's just a camera, but it's it's just funny that sometimes the camera has, it's too powerful, you know? Hello, sir. How's it going? Good, how are you? How are you? Uh, can you identify yourself, please? I'm Officer Fontana, I'm the National Police Department. Um, uh, can I, can you my my okay, my super, Giannis. super simple. You don't want to ask the friendly officer if he speak a Spanish? Come on, what's the matter with you? Get on it. In the public okay. office, okay. but what they're doing is they're locking all the doors. Uh, I know they say it's by appointment, but I'm only in the public lobby. Okay. Um, I wanted to go inside and speak to the superintendent, but he went and locked the doors. Okay. Um, the hours clearly state 10 to 5, doesn't say anything about appointment. This lady's actually uh, being very rude, didn't identify herself. I get it, they, they want to protect, but I'm only in the public lobby, and that's all I wanted to do. So this is a public office, do you agree? Uh, so what happened is the, these people... Yeah, but this, um, this is a public office. So let me talk. No, thank you. No, thank you. You know, I need to talk to you. This is a public office. Can you me? No, and you cannot stop me. If you want to arrest me, you can, but this is a public right. office. So that's what I'm trying to... No, this is a public office. I do not... I don't... I don't need directives. I don't need directives. You can arrest me. Or don't talk to me. This is a public that's, office. That's what I'm trying arrest to Arrest me then. This okay. is a public. Stop right Go. There. Go ahead. Go ahead. Arrest me. <laughs> just record, just record for me. And if you want to arrest me again, go ahead. Check this out. Look what you did to me. You purple. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Oh, poor baby. <laughs> and you scratch my watch. Scratch! Scratch! Oh my stars for the love of Liza. You're a clown. Okay, sir. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah. where are you going? Don't, don't coward on me because you know you're wrong. You're asking for a supervisor. You, whoa. He's on his way. You're not intimidating me. You think I didn't know what I was doing? I you, you think I, I didn't know that I could request a transcript from a public office? You're telling me to shut up because what? Because you don't like it? This is a constitutionally protected right. And that Blue Lives Matter bullshit is stupid. Freedom of speech and you can't stop me. Is that the is that the sergeant? Get out of my face. Is that your boss? Hi. How's it going, sir? Good, how are you? Look what your officers did to me in a public office. They twisted me. They this shit's hurting. The first thing I want to do, file a complaint. I want to FOIA request every single thing. Okay. Listen, I understand that they're saying that I need a public uh, an appointment. But I'm only walking to the lobby. Okay. All right. That's it. If I'm walking to the lobby, that's like I can't walk. I can walk to the court. I can walk to the jail. I can walk to the probation officer. I'm not gonna go to the bag. I wasn't. You guys can leave. Yeah. Leave now. I'm f pissed off. I was looking for a transcript. I was looking to speak to the superintendent. You have somebody enrolled in a school. Look, sir. I'm not gonna answer questions. Okay. The only thing is this: if you're releasing me now. It's on body cam. I told her, do not search me. And she still searched me. Okay. She kicked me out of a public building. She arrested me. Look at this. Is this acceptable to you? This is not acceptable. How can, how can I ask, how can you go right here and request a transcript without somebody... Who are you requesting transcripts for? I'm not going to tell you that anymore. I'm only giving you the courtesy of telling you that I have a legit reason. I wasn't looking for a fight. So you have a re legit reason to be... Uh, of course. And I'm going to go right back there. Do you there. understand a lot of these buildings are locked that, that Yes, but... Let, they, let, let me finish. I'm listening to you. Okay, yeah. Go but ahead. A lot of these buildings that used to be open to the public for yes. us to just... Any of us as citizens to walk around yes. are locked down because of the current health pandemic we find ourselves in uh what is so, what pandemic is that 
You serious? You know, police officers have a really tough job these days, man. We have a lot of things that have been thrown in our wheelbarrow to carry around. And, you know, I can tell you right now, these officers go out every day and they do a good job of trying to keep people safe and keep our community safe. And I can tell you right now that if they are asked to make a detention because someone is in here unlawfully, then they probably did it with a minimal amount of force. Okay? I Means they, uh, that all, all you're showing me is, is, is marks on your wrist from handcuffs. Uh, we used to wear them in the academy for hours training. Well, so sir, look, I'm going to get out of here, okay? But you understand, it's not going to cause permanent damage. But you Officer, by the way he's complaining, you would think they bent him over and shoved those cuffs right up his ass because the emotional pain is permanent. All right, I think that's going to be it for me today. Hit that like button if you haven't. Think about becoming a subscriber, and I want to put a big thanks out to all of my members and Patreons for helping make this happen. Thank you for coming. Have a good night, everybody.